Today I installed a new mod called Cockricot. In case you haven't heard about it, it's a modern resource pack that not only completely changes the look of everything in Minecraft, but also adds a bunch of content to the game that lets you create the most beautiful and unique looking builds. I've seen this a while back, and now that I finally have time, I want to try it out, learn and analyze our experience with the mod to decide if it's worth playing it. We are starting on a new flat world in Creative, and I want to go through three different stages to learn about this mod. We are going to begin by building a tree, because these are my favorite things to do in vanilla Minecraft, so I want to see how different it will be here. Then, we are going to create a structure, making use of the amazing new blocks that we have access to. And finally, we are going to see something that we can do in survival, we will be basically starting a new survival world to have the full experience of the mod. I started by tinkering around with a few of the blocks, there were so many and I wanted to see some of them at least, to have an idea of the different things that this mod has to offer. Among everything, I found some very beautiful colored leaves that have connected textures, something that is going to be very useful to make the tree look realistic, and honestly I wish we had in vanilla Minecraft. Mojang please, if you're saying this, we need autumn leaves. Also, a mind-blowing bird that rotates with you, I have no idea how they did this, and a piano that you can stack to make it larger or smaller, that's absolutely insane. And then, it was finally time to create the tree. For this we are going to begin with a trunk made out of acacia. Now the branches, I want them to be very curvy, and I think we can try one more here in the middle. There we go, I really like that shape. Now for the leaves I'm thinking mostly yellow. I said it already, but I really love how it blends together with connected textures. And they also change color a bit randomly and I think that's good. I'll make them hang down a bit, like vines, and now let's add these other leaves that go upwards and are a bit more spread out, to make it look a bit more fluffy in certain areas. That's the tree finished, it didn't take long and I think it's pretty good for an autumn tree. It's not something that we can't do in survival with some yellow tinted blocks, but still it's very fun to play around with. Moving forward to the structure, I went for this house inspired by a style that I believe is commonly found around the UK, but I'm not entirely sure, so feel free to correct me if that's the case. However, I found some reference pictures that I really liked and thought these blocks would be perfect for it. This bike is one of my favorite things so far, you can place it standing or against a block like that and it will slightly lean towards it. That's such a nice detail. And all the plans for decorations I think give this entire thing a more realistic look. But for now, I think that's all we're going to do for the creative aspects of this mod. There's probably a lot more that I haven't covered. So now, let's see how we do on a survival Cockricot. Alright, here we are on a new survival world with the Cockricot mod installed. I also added Shady Eye so I can look for recipes if I need to. We have a village right away, that's kinda cool. Let's take a look at the villagers. They are cute, kinda weird, but I like them. These are good looking candles or... Oh, they are torches. Fancy. Libraries. Okay, you look very beautiful, but you know, I need the iron, and this village has no loot, so please close your eyes. Alright, iron acquired, and now it's time to find a cave or a place to settle down. This looks good to grab some stone. I hear mobs. Look at the face! <laughs> Looks like a cactus boy. Cactus boy. Let's let's make a shield, and we don't need anything else to be safe. I wanna see the creeper. Oh, he has a bow side. Why did they have to make the mobs look so cute? Bye, creeper. I'm too sorry. I mean, look at this guy. Look at him. He has a swimsuit. Even the little hair. I, I was I was not expecting this. I wanna settle down around here. There we go, we claim this area now. Okay, here's the thing, while I was smelting some of the materials, I looked into Shady Eye to see what new blocks we could use and the recipes, but it turns out that we can't get in survival any of the new fancy blocks that we could use in creative, like the doors and the bike and everything sadly. They have no recipes. I might be missing something, but for what I could find, there's no way to get these fancy things. So in terms of survival so far, it's basically a resource pack. Which is good, it's a very beautiful resource pack still. See the night time how beautiful it is? I'm using BSL shaders in case you were wondering, and I want to see the mobs we haven't seen so far. Let's see, is that a skeleton or is it just a zombie? <laughs> okay, no, the skeletons are not cute. And the spiders, the spiders, and they have parts, but they are also still very scary. The zombies are the best. The zombies are the best. 
Oh, let's take a look at the face of the Enderman and then we can go to sleep. Oh, he has a tie and I think that's a suit. Yeah, he has a suit and a tie. I love it. Okay, I'm going to do something very stupid. I want to see the angry Enderman. Well, yeah, angry is still very scary. I think the, the sounds the sounds make it scary. But we can see the tie is better. Okay, enough dangers for tonight. Let's go to sleep. So I was AFK and I got a visitor. Look at him. He sells cherry and I do have some emeralds from the village, but I'm missing one. And I really want to build with cherry. So let's go get some more back in the village. There we go. Cherry acquired and planted. These are all the different stone blocks that we can use for the house. I really like the polished granite for the roof. So with that, let's make a quick time lapse and get our house built. There we go. It's a very simple, simple house, but I think it's cute. It's missing some details here and there, so let's grab some cherry leaves to add to the roof and a few strip logs as well. Just like that, nothing too complicated, and I think over here a small balcony thingy can work pretty well. That's it. I like it way more now. And in the interior we have some chests laying around for our stuff and a small chimney to the side. Very small, but it works. I'm feeling a bit sad that we don't have any of the fancy blocks that we could use in creative. So, I have an idea to get a bike in our world. As you can see, I'm big in a mine, and that's because I need diamonds for this. Trust me, wait and see, I promise we'll get a bike. We are down to the diamond level, and there goes our first pickaxe. Nice. I see them, I see them, first diamonds. And of course, it's over lava. Let's see. Come on, only one! Okay, we need to keep digging. My last pickaxe is about to break. Please, I just need two more diamonds for this. Oh, there, 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 I see them. Why are they in such complicated spots? If I do this, I shouldn't burn. And the diamonds should be safe. Alright. Four diamonds from that, more than enough. Now, let's get out of here before they run out of food and torches. Okay, I think I'm lost, but there's another diamond here, so I'll take it. Yes! That's where I came from, nice. Alright, now that we are outside and alive, let's cook some food first on the chimney. Yep, don't judge how I live. And with all the blood that we got from digging, let's make a small altar around here. I forgot the torches, let's get the coal. And now with that, let's set the center on fire and we are ready for the ritual. I offer these three diamonds to the gods of Cockricot. Oops, fire is gone. Please give me a bike, I want a bike! I wait till the fire goes out. And now we can go back to our house and wait until the ritual takes a... Oh, 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 look at that, we have a bike now! I love this, amazing, absolutely amazing. That's going to be everything for the survival aspects of this mod. So back in the creative world, I decided to spend some more time building with the blocks that we have access in here. Gotta say though that even if in survival we couldn't get all the fancy blocks, I really enjoyed the gameplay. It feels very good and cozy, except for the cave parts, those are still very scary. As for the building part, I think it has a lot of potential, it's clearly the strong aspect of the mod, where every block and visuals feels like it's been very well thought out and developed, which is extremely important. So I highly recommend trying out this mod, all the links will be in the description below. Here I made some markets which were very easy to detail making use of the decorational blocks. Then a second house in a very similar style which is very simple to replicate and create a complete neighborhood if we wanted to. This other tree which I believe is looking way better than the first one we made. And in general I really love the feeling of this small area we just created. But anyways, I wanted to bring something different for you today, I hope you learned something new with this. And thank you so much for watching, this has been Calvin and I will see you in the next one, goodbye.